What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Series 103 Stardust and Roman Reigns figures. Now this is a Stardust figure that I have been asking for Mattel for probably close to 7 years. I'd say but ever since he came out in this gear at WrestleMania 32 for the IC title match. Definitely the best match on the card. That is actually a matchup that I go back and watch on a regular occasion. It's probably one that I watch 2-3 to three times a year just because of how damn good it was. Tons of superstars in there that just absolutely tore the house down. Man, it was an absolute classic, but we finally have the Stardust here, and we have this new Roman Reigns here. Say what you want about it, but I think we have enough going on here that you may want to venture out and grab it for your display. We'll get into that, and we have a Blue Universal Championship with the Roman Reigns side plates, and the only other time we've seen the Blue Universal title in that is in the Amazon exclusive Tribal Chief versus Beast Incarnate 3 pack featuring Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. But here are the figures, man. I'm really excited for these. I, I think that these look great. You know, we, we don't have, you know, this head sculpt is repeated, but it is new paint. You know, we got some cool stuff going on with it, but I'm excited for these, man. If you guys are interested in either of these figures already, you like what you see, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but I'm excited for these. I think we're going to get a lot of excitement and enjoyment out of these. Cannot wait to crack them out of their packaging, but here's the front viewing window. Stardust is the chase in this set, so if you guys are interested in that, it's like in this blue and black, but the dusty polka dot attire with the polka dot ladder. Pulled it out from up under the ring, and here he is. There he is making his entrance and now Cody Rhodes has returned and uh, I'm all for it, man. I, I, I genuinely believe that this figure is going to be sweet. So there's Roman Reigns, man. You guys know how that deal is. There's a shot of the Tribal Chief. Probably one of the most beautiful men on planet Earth. You know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, man. But nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up. Crack these guys out of their packaging. Find out what they're about. Put them on the rotating base and see how Stardust and Roman Reigns fit into our WWE action figure collections. So here's Elite 103, Roman Reigns and Stardust out of their packaging, man. Really enjoying these figures a lot. I know we don't have a lot of meat on the bone when it comes to the Roman Reigns figures, but I think you guys are going to be shocked on some of the stuff you get here. I think that if you missed out on some other Roman Reigns, this might be the figure for you. And I'm really, really digging this Stardust, man. It's actually been a treat to get this guy and pose him around and check him out up next to some other Cody's. Kind of like a, a, a flashback figure in modern times almost. But what we're going to do is take a closer look at Roman Reigns accessories and Roman Reigns, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Stardust. Stardust and Stardust figure itself. All right, man, so for Roman Reigns accessories, a lot of stuff we've already seen before, but we do have some newness, which we'll get into here. But we do get the Blue Universal Championship with the Roman Reigns side plates. Now, this is something, again, that we saw in the Amazon 3-pack, which looks really good. Of course, retired now. He does have the Undisputed Championship, and we'll see where all that goes, of course. But this hasn't even hit retail shelves, and uh, it's already outdated. So, you know, that's just the way of the world sometimes. But I think people are still going to want this. You do get the Blue Universal title, and the people that missed out on that 3-pack, now is another opportunity for you to get the Blue Universal title with the side plate, so I think that's good. We also have his signature necklace, or shells necklace. I don't remember the exact name of this. It's not a lay exactly, but it's similar to a lay. It's like a shell necklace here. He's worn it on TV multiple times. You know, it's kind of a big deal. This also came with his Ultimate Edition figure, which we've seen. It seems to be a little bit more flat than that one, but I, I like this. I like having these accessories really spruces up the displays and stuff, so this is a cool accessory as well. And then, of course, you have your interchangeable hands. Now, we do have the right side for the gauntlet hand, and then you have the left side for the, you know, the bare hand. And what's really cool about these gauntlet hands is that they're actually sculpted. All of this is now sculpted. You get mic holding hands, fisted hands, and pointing towards the sky or number one hands, which we'll see in just a moment. But these are sculpted nice, and we saw these first with the Ultimate Edition. And I remember a long time, bro, they, they went a long time without giving us a fisted Roman gauntlet. So to now see this with the sculpted gauntlet is very nice to see. And then, like I said, you also get the mic holding hands, which also look really good here. Nice sculpt in there. I love that, man. I think that extra detail just does a lot for the figure and then we have the brand new we the ones finger pointing hands so we've seen this sculpt before it's just a pointing finger but it is in the roman reigns skin tone and then we have the gauntlet pointing finger which is so beautiful man now you can tell people you're next with your gauntlet hand and then you can point to the sky and say we the ones even though they've pretty much broken up now we got bloodline civil war going on which is very beautiful so there's your gauntlet pointing finger hand all right guys so getting into the roman reigns figure here at the head sculpt this is the same exact head sculpt we saw on the Amazon exclusive three pack. So we're getting a lot of similarities to that figure. Very smart. It doesn't include the t-shirt, so it kind of gives you that want to get that three pack. It also comes with a Paul Heyman and a Brock Lesnar on a unique mold. So I think they did a lot of smart choices here when it comes to the Roman Reigns. And honestly, I think this head sculpt looks a little bit better repainted, even though they, they are pretty much the exact same head sculpt. I feel like we're getting more details here, but the hair sculpt looks good. I think the beard looks good as far as this is concerned. I'm still waiting on a faded tapered beard, man. How hard is it to give me a 
fade here on the side. So it goes thick and it fades. It's like bald here and it fades down and then it slowly gets thicker into the thicker beard. I've asked for it for years, man. It makes me sick. So that's something I'm still waiting on. I want to see it in ponytail form and hair down version. Still haven't gotten it. Makes me sick. Nonetheless, there's the, the gigantic torso they give Roman Reigns. I guess I'm not complaining about it, but I would like to see a newly sculpted torso. Apparently that is coming uh, like down the line. I've heard it on the... Maybe at San Diego Comic Con we'll finally see a new torso and then it's going to be like, well damn, don't I need to update all my Roman Reigns? And then it's like, God in heaven, what am I doing? The tattoos look good. I am seeing a little bit of a gap there at the shoulder with the tattoo. That's one of my biggest gripes ever and it's one of my figure pet peeve of mine is tattoo gappage right there, but all the tattoos look good here. I like the double joint arms, the gauntlets, and the sculpt and everything and then you have the same crotch and legs we have seen for about a decade now. So I think it's time to upgrade this. However, you are getting the Tribal Chief logo and Superman Punch logo there and then the Roman Reigns logo on the inside. So it, you are getting a little bit of deco on there. So I guess that is good. Now everything else with this figure, man, is pretty much the exact same. But I love Roman Reigns figures. I think they feel good in hand. They pose around for the most part. And Roman Reigns is really the only guy that I can support these shield legs with. I just want to see something different. I'd like to see a promo gear Elite Roman Reigns and Ultimate Roman Reigns. Again, with those bearded head sculpts I'm talking about. A pissed off head sculpt. A screaming head sculpt. Like a solo screaming head sculpt. The head of the table in white shirt was what I would like to have, to have seen with like a removable watch, like all the different stuff. But let's shut the hell up, get into some figure comparisons. So for your Roman Reigns figure comparisons, guys, here is just a little bit. You got the MDT pick fed Roman here and then the promo head sculpt here, which is pretty much what I've been asking Mattel for. I did get this from BW. I got him to like custom make it since Mattel didn't want to give it to us. But these are the kind of head sculpts I've been waiting on. You know, I, I like this likeness, uh, the, the, the thicker beard and like the fade here. MDT championship, you know, like the custom bloodline look that I gave him for like years ago. We have this like promo gear Roman. Then you have the three pack Roman, which again is very, very similar to this. It almost looks like the eye position is, is looking straight on with this one compared to this one, as you guys can see a little bit there. So that's a bit of a change and you don't get the shirt, but you do get the deco and the We The Ones pointing hand. And then you have this other promo style Roman Reigns here. Shout out to my man Gio for this figure over here, which looks beautiful and the custom shirt over here, man. So the, these are some nice comparisons, but we also have to take a look at some other figure comparisons. And even though we're having Bloodline Civil War here, here is the new Elite 103 Roman Reigns up next to the Usos in their Bloodline gears. Still waiting on these officially, I do believe, from Mattel. And then we do have the Paul Heyman from the three pack there, so it all fits in together nicely. I think all these look really good up next to each other. Pretty classic, pretty clean. I think they all look nice. And then if you guys want to see what the new Undisputed Championship from my man Dan Turnquist looks like, you know, you can throw this on there, get this in position, so then, uh, you know, we, we won't see this for a long time. We will, we will not see. Apparently, it's not just as easy as a repaint. Apparently, it is still about a year away until we get this championship. It's not just a simple repaint, so we will have to see about that. But there is the Undisputed Champion, and he's looking all clean and good. That looks damn good to me, Brad. Just waiting on our Elite 104 Solo Sokoa, which hope to God it has an updated new torso like we saw in Angelo Dawkins. All right, man, so for Stardust accessories, I want to start off with the ladder here. And again, this is something that I kind of fantasy booked for a long time. I asked Mattel, you know, I want the I want the Stardust and the Dusty gear, and I want the ladder with it, and they delivered finally. All these years later, when Cody returns to the company, you got the standard ladder here, but it does have all of the dusty polka dots on there. And he did, of course, pull this out from under the ring at WrestleMania 32, which we touched on, but... It looks really good. It's your standard ladder here. You, know, you can lock it out like that and climb it. It's not my favorite style of ladders because I feel like these are too small. I don't feel like these really represent ladders, but I think for a display, different purposes like that. I mean, you could whip this out in a Money in the Bank or ladder match, pick fed match or something like that. Yeah, I think you could get that done. I just don't like typically using these ladders. I just think they're too short, to be honest with you. I like the giant ringside collectibles ladders you can get over there using Code MD Toys, but I'm still really glad they included this and uh, I think it's a great accessory. And then for the rest of your accessories, you do just get inner interchangeable hands here, which is kind of weird. You guys will see here that like the the hand is like yellow or the thumbs are yellow. I'm pretty sure you just have black gloves with stars on the on the palms. I guess I could be wrong about that, but you guys can see here you can't really make any star formation. It just kind of looks like a big dot or something, which is weird because when you put these together, you know, you can make the star there with the stardust hands, but I'm pretty sure these are just Ric Flair four horseman hands as you guys can see. Like this is a bare hand just painted, which I guess isn't the biggest deal. It's good reuse. It's smart reuse. You know, we're not going to probably get gloved skull 
sculpted Stardust hands because this is probably a one-off figure. We're not going to see an Elite Stardust for a very long time, if ever again. You know, it took them 70 series. Cody's back in the company, but they made a chase figure. If a figure ever gets a chase, it's probably because they're not going to make an Elite of that person for a very long time, most of the time. But these look really good, and I'm glad to include these. And that's just something to know. But uh, yeah, I, I think that Stardust was the right decision for the chase, but I doubt they were going to give us glove sculpted hands in this formation right here. All right, man, so getting into the Stardust figure, starting off the head sculpt, this is the Elite 32 Cody Rhodes head sculpt repainted. He's actually got brown hair, like dark brown hair compared to the black that this figure originally came with on this head sculpt. But the face paint looks good. I think the likeness is there. Again, it's a really old head sculpt. You're looking at almost 70 years old. 70 years old. 70 series old. And so the silver face paint looks good. Actually, it's overset. It's 71 sets. Elite 32 Cody Rhodes. Unbelievable. I wonder if they'll ever reuse the Stardust head sculpt from Elite 36. I could see them doing that, but I like this like pissed off head sculpt. The paint looks good. I like it. Ears are black. It's looking pretty good. I, I think I'd actually like to see this head sculpt repainted to look like Cody. And it's really hard to tell, but I think they actually did paint his eyes red like for the contacts, so that's pretty cool as well. But going down into the torso, this is the same torso we saw in the Elite 36 Stardust figure back in the day, but you got the star on there and the polka dots. Exposed arms, we never got, you know, exposed arms. I remember back in the day when the Stardust figure came out, people were fixing up that Stardust and opening the torso and putting like skin tone arms like this on there with gloved hands, like making fix up Stardust. So now to have this, I know a lot of people are going to be happy. Maybe you can go back and make some custom Stardust out of this figure if you want to, but he also has the wrist gauntlets, which were actually featured on the Elite 36 Stardust. So this is actually not new, but it is, you know, I guess it's new ish. Not technically. We've seen it before, but it's not the first time they've made this mold. But it is kind of like Batman-style gauntlets. You have, like, the little edges there, which are cool, little sharp pieces. And then you have the gloves in there, which we took a look at. And then you have all the deco. Same crotch and legs that we saw on the Stardust figure from back then. And then it does say Hard Times on the back. Hard Times, baby. Very cool there on the back. And then you do have the polka dots going all the way down into the black boots. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. Just pretty standard on the bottom half. For some reason, I don't remember him having solid black boots, though. That seems inaccurate. And the reason reason it's inaccurate is because he didn't have these style boots. It's because I think they just used the formula from the Elite 36 Stardust with updated arms. I think that's exactly what this is pretty much a repaint of that Stardust with the Elite 32 head sculpt and double jointed arms. So these boots are not accurate. I don't even think the Stardust Elite from Elite 36 is accurate. He's always had those same similar boots, but that's actually a cool fix that we could probably do on surgery. So we're actually we're going to we're going to fix it. How about that? Damn it. They're supposed to be his same like laceless style boots. So we'll fix that. But figure feels good in hand. He is on ball joints and stuff, so this figure is actually going to pose around great. It's going to pose around just as good as any Cody Rhodes figure you see, and uh, I, I like this figure a lot, man. I think it's pretty dope. When we first saw this, I was hyped, and I, it's, it, like, I, I've always loved Cody Rhodes. I've never been a big fan of the Stardust gimmick. I just don't like when they just dress you up and make you act like a goofball. Like, sometimes I think it fits, but in this case for Cody, I don't think it worked, even though he put his best foot forward and attempted it, and, you know, he committed to the series. I think leaving and coming back, obviously, the the greatest decision ever, even though he couldn't finish the story. Now, for your Stardust figure comparisons, guys, we do have the new WrestleMania 39 Elite Dusty Rhodes here in his polka dot shirt and polka dot attire, and this looks damn cool, man. I think these are going to make for a really cool display. You know, you pull the ladder out, put it up there. I think this is really awesome to see these up next to each other and, you know, get your display on. I think the yellows and everything look really well up next to each other. They're not the exact same yellow, at least I don't think so, and maybe a trick on the eyes there, but I think this is a little bit more like, a little bit more like highlighter yellow compared to this like straight yellow but I don't think that you're going to be upset with the color. I think it looks really good and it comes across well here on camera so there's your Dusty Rhodes and Stardust comparison. And then for your Stardust Elite comparison, here is the Elite 36 the first time. And it's really cool because this figure had like the sculpted gold dust slash like Rey Mysterio style hands, which are really cool. And I think like, I like how the contacts stand out a lot more on this figure here. But I remember when people were using this head sculpt for custom Cody Rhodes figures. You guys remember that? Like when he first left WWE. But you guys can see the torsos are the same, the bottom halves and everything are the same. And then he still has those same boots. I've actually owned this figure quite a lot and I remember like using it for customs and stuff and then I actually remember finding this at my target at retail like the full Elite 36 so to see a new Stardust out here is kind of nostalgic but yeah there's your Stardust Elite figure comparison and then for your modern return WWE Elite Cody figures we have the Elite 101 Cody the Defining Moments Ringside Exclusive Torn Pet Cody the Elite 103 Stardust and then the Mattel Creations Exclusive 
Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes here. And then we also have the new Top Talents Cody that I actually have right over here that I'll show you guys men on card. I do want to do a full-fledged review on that figure, but we will take a closer look at it here in a second. But it is cool to see all these modern Cody's, and I'm sure at San Diego Comic-Con we're going to see even more Cody's, and uh, I'm all here for it. I think we're going to get a new Ultimate Edition in different gear. Probably, how much you want to make a bet? We're either getting an Elite or a new Ultimate in the main line of Cody Rhodes from when he won the Royal Rumble. That will be one that I probably try to get men on card and autograph just because I was there in the front row and it's like a big moment and a really cool thing to see. So we'll see about that, but I think this is all dope. I support all the Cody's and it's really sweet because all these have like updated technology, double jointed arms, and we're reaping the benefits here. Still gotta get my hands on the Chase Stardust though. And then here is the new Top Talents Cody up next to the Stardust and uh, we'll get into this in its own review, but this blue is looking different and different. It's looking more and more different every time I look at it. Like it almost looks gray on camera, so I don't know, but that wraps up our Elite Stardust 103 comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 103 Roman Reigns and Stardust figures, man. Really enjoyed both of these. You know, I like the newness that we have with Roman Reigns again. I know it's another run-of-the-mill Roman Reigns, but I like the head sculpt. I like that we get the Blue Universal title with the Roman Reigns side plates. I love that we have the We The Ones hands finally with our Roman Reigns. And you know, they're never gonna stop with the Roman Reigns figures, man. It's just the way it is. So, that's just the way it is, man. And then the Stardust has been a real treat, man. I know a lot of people probably have missed the opportunity. We've had a lot of new collectors jump on. We've probably missed out on that Elite 36 Stardust. And you may not have any want to to get a Stardust, but I think it's really fun and it's a really nice jump in time. And if they were gonna do any Stardust, this is the one to do. This one and the Chase are probably the ones that you would probably want them to make if they were gonna make a Stardust figure updated, and I like it a lot. I think you guys, it, people that are fans of Feel and Hand, you know I talk about Feel and Hand all the time here on the channel, big part of a figure, especially if it's going to enter my realm of like liking it and enjoying the figure and getting the most out of a figure and feeling in hand. This Stardust feels great in the hand and I think you're going to enjoy it, so definitely take that into consideration, but if you guys are wanting these figures, I think the Roman Reigns is in stock. I don't think the Stardust is in stock. However, you can pre-order it and wait on your pre-order over there at Ringside Collectibles right now. Use code MDTOYS to save yourself 10% and a huge shout out to them for making the review possible. Always appreciate you guys so very much, man. Before we get out of here, a huge shout out to the patrons. A huge shout out to the patron army, the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys. You guys are the GOATs. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members, click the link in the description below. Go check all that stuff out. Also, we have merch over at Pro Wrestling Tees, man. I would greatly appreciate you guys checking that out as well. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll I'll catch you in the next one. We'll never